hot. Aren't they? And you are? Steve. Steve. Yeah. Nice meeting you, Steve. You too. <laughs> um, have you received credit cards before? About 20 times. 20 times? Okay. So you're really familiar with it. Yeah. yeah. So you know that we're doing it according to the scripture. Yes. Yes. So um, I'll just simply ask you that you will um, hold your feedback or giving information spontaneously while we're talking so that we will rather hear from the Lord than <laughs> try to sure. guess by your information. Um, we'll be quiet for a few minutes, really hear from the Lord, and then we'll prophesy to you. Very good. Thank you. Um, let me just open a prayer. Lord, thank you for precious, um, your beloved son Steve here. Lord, we humbly ask you that in your sweet presence, you will um, reveal uh, what you have for Steve. The things that you have written down, um, even before the, the foundation of the world was uh, um, established. We're excited for that, Lord, and just use us to speak the things that the Lord has for him. And then from here, he will walk totally differently in the, the triumph and a victory and joy that the, the Lord has given him. We thank you and bless him. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Mass recorder? Yes. Okay, looks like camera. And that um, failed to me as a prophetic. But I just got by looking for <laughs> pondering. Um, you have incredible prophetic gifts all over you. Already, um, 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 you are walking in the realm of a spirit, prophetic uh, realm, that smelling, touching, seeing, and, and knowing, perceiving things are one in you. It really doesn't matter. You're not really analyzing. You're not trying to understand. You're not um, pondering anymore. It's just so natural to you. And I think uh, you are about to enter into the next realm of really knowing even more clear. Um, not just individual personal matters, but really globally what the Holy Spirit is saying to the church. What the Holy Spirit is warning us and things like that, more apostolic information, stuff like that. And I guess strongly I sense the um, um, divine calling uh, from the Lord that you will, um, you're the one of the harvesters for the end time. And I could tell that you are so drawn to all these end time messages. It has been that way for a while. And Lord has really, really started uh, speaking to you clearly about what is uh, yet to come. Um, Steve, I just saw this uh, bucket with overflowing water, and um, it's like a bright, shining spirit being all over you, and you just can't contain it anymore. I see that you always bring the spirit of light um, into wherever you go, and you have this incredible, just healing spirit on you. Along, I think you have also the teaching gift. Um, as Julia is saying, you're stepping into a new realm. I feel the Lord is giving you a teaching, a season of teaching that you're going to share with the people. You're going to empower and equip people and just, you know, pull them into a new platform, a new stage of life. So you have such a that gift of impartation. Whatever that you say from your, proceed from your mouth, would just have that power, that prophetic anointing over um, you know, the, the audience that you are speaking into. And you really give that life into those people. Um, I too agree with the calling of um, like a pastor who has great um, great love. You have so much love for Jesus and you have a steadfast love for him. And because of that love, he's given you a gift that you're able to reach a lot of the Lord's children and, and children that don't know the Lord to make them the Lord's children. Um, you have a way of um, speaking from the Lord's heart to your heart and having their ears hear what the Spirit of the Lord has to tell them. Um, it's, it's just a, it's very beautiful. It's, 
again, it's just the Holy Spirit keeps saying that you're so steadfast in His love, and it's very pleasing to the Lord, too. And because of that steadfastness of His love, the, the great and mighty things are going to be poured out on you and then on to others to be shared with others. Um, I see a really straight and well-established highway before you. There has been a time that um, you had to work uh, for your past uh, with the Holy Spirit for a while. Much healing and, you know, redeeming of things that happened to your life that kind of like hindered you. But it's all, um, the winter has passed and then it has been this way for a while that I see a really, really well-established um, straight um, board um, highway. All you need to do is boldly just to walk in it. And although um, it has been that way, I hear Isaiah 54, the Lord said, enlarge your tent. God is pouring out all these signs and wonders and miracles in your daily lifestyle that if you really get ready and have a right expectation, I think you're uh, going to walk in it more supernatural. Um, a cloning that is so natural to you. And not only that, because it overflows so much that the people around you who is being equipped by you and get influence will be it just uh, like fruits everywhere and then they will be so impacted by um, uh, the relationship that you have with the Lord. Um, I feel there has been barrier in your job situation and there is some resistance and even rejection but I feel and, and especially 2010 has been some just obstacles along the year um, but I feel the Lord is saying stay put stay through open up the treasure box and open up your toolbox um, that's already been inside of deposited inside of you and he's really taking you onto a straight path the training period has seemed to be seemed to be unbearable and you've gone through the fire and all that refinement but the Lord is just encouraging you you know the way uh, the, the, the path before you is much shinier and it's worth the fight all along the way so stay through it and um, just keep going so, um, getting feed my sheep feed my lambs and how the increase of the bread and the fish will be multiplied and you really have an anointing to preach the Word of God. It's, he's, he's really enlarging that and putting more and more of that in your heart, too. Um, in a very recent future, I, I uh, saw that God has uh, some traveling schedule for you. <laughs> you're going to go to Israel. I know. Uh, I don't know if you haven't been there already, but you're going to go to Israel. And then I feel that uh, you're going to even go to Asia or um, minister in Asian church or something like that. I saw chopsticks. <laughs> and then I think it's not coincidence that well, you're getting all these prophetic words from two Asian sisters right here. I feel that it's in a very... Uh, of this uh, recent future that you will uh, minister um, to them. That's about it. <laughs>